kind of come into view on the left side first in this little canyon over here, and then I'll do a turn and put it out the right. So the waterfall starts way up here at the top of the canyon, just a little drop there, and it ends way down here at the bottom of the canyon. But the biggest section of the waterfall is going to be just coming into view right here on the left. This waterfall right here never stops flowing. It's constantly being fed by all the rain in the mountains here. There were some talks recently about trying to reopen the hike here. They were talking about just charging people to do the hike and then using the money to try to maintain the trail, keep it safe for future landslides. The uh, landslide here in 99 actually claimed eight lives, so it was a really big deal here. Uh, and hopefully they can figure out how to safely reopen the hike. Be a really cool hike. Everybody's still good after all the turns there. All right, perfect. You can see some of these uh, light green trees kind of sprinkled in here and there, some up ahead in like the canyon wall up here. Uh, these are all kukui trees. It's a sacred tree to the Hawaiian people. You've probably seen the polished kukui nuts on necklaces. The oil from that nuts used for ceremonial purposes, medicinal purposes, and in traditional canoe building as waterproof. Also known as the candle nut tree, it was used in oil lamps. See these tall pine trees on the right here as well, a big grove of them straight ahead. Uh, also, they kind of look out of place here, like what are pine trees doing on Hawaii? Uh, it's because they're not indigenous to the island, they kind of have an interesting uh, story. Uh, when Captain James Cook, the British explorer, first came to the Hawaiian Islands in 1778, uh, he found there were no suitable trees here for mast repairs to his ships. So he planted a few of these tall pines here. They're known as the Cook Pine here, uh, the Norfolk Pine in the UK. And you can see them all over the islands today. Uh, town straight to your right over here, this is Laie, L-A-I-E. Very nice laid back town here on the northeast side. Some really pretty beaches and bays around Laie. Uh, Polynesian Cultural Center is located there as well. Really cool place to visit. Really big shows and authentic luau's are held there. In the past, La Ie was a place of uh, refuge for the Hawaiian people. If there was a battle or a disagreement, someone was afraid for their life, they could seek refuge there, and they were not allowed to be harmed. So I go there when my wife is really mad at me. Up here to the front right, you can see all these little ponds kind of near the shore, little brown ponds. Those are all shrimp farms. If you come to the North Shore up here, you'll see a lot of food trucks off the road. You can stop and get some garlic shrimp. Really tasty and very fresh as it all comes from these shrimp farms here. There's one called uh, Giovanni's right outside of Laie back there that's really popular. Uh, another really good one up here is uh, Kahuku Shrimp Company. Uh, white domes up ahead of us here. Uh, this is the Opana radar site. All the pilots here call it the Gulf Falls. But uh, it kind of has an interesting history. So during the attack on Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941, the radar site right here was uh, brand new, but it was working already. They actually did detect the Japanese aircraft coming from offshore up ahead. 
but they were expecting a uh, large fleet of U.S. bomber airplanes to arrive from California that day. So they thought it was the U.S. bombers coming in and decided not to raise the alarm. And uh, right up here to the front right, that's Turtle Bay Resort. Really nice resort here on the North Shore. Actually the only resort on the North Shore. But uh, a couple of nice uh, restaurants here, a couple of golf courses, really pretty beach and bay. A lot of water activities you can do right out of the resort. You can take part in all that without being a guest at the resort. And then this is the North Shore all along here. About 17 miles of shoreline here. Some uh, really pretty beaches over here on the North Shore. Some famous surfing destinations as well. This beach that kind of juts out here on the left. This is called Sunset Beach. Surf competitions are held here in the winter. The waves are the biggest over here in the winter months. We have like 20, 30, even 40 foot waves over here some days. If you're ever here, like early December through about mid-April, uh, you can often spot humpback whales along the North Shore here. Uh, humpback whales travel here all the way from Alaska, uh, over 3,000 miles away, and come here to mate and give birth to their young in these warmer waters. And as soon as the babies are big enough to make the journey, they head all the way back up to Alaska. They make a 3,000 mile journey two times a year, pretty crazy. This uh, long beach over here on the left, this is called the Bonsai Pipeline. Big surfing competitions here in the winter as well. You see this uh, rocky cove up here to the front left? This is called Shark's Cove. We'll do a turn here in a second, we'll get the right side a better view. It's named uh, Shark's Cove because it's kind of in the shape of a hammerhead shark. You kind of see the head of the hammerhead and a shark fin right there. Uh, really good snorkeling in the cove here. Tons of fish, green sea turtles occasionally as well. And then you have this uh, beach and bay right here on the left. This is Waimea Bay. Uh, really nice beach and bay here, kind of protected from the waves a bit. You see that big rock at the end of the beach right there? People jump off that rock all day. Really fun. There's a really good food truck lot on the other side of the road from Sharks Cove down here. And there's a snorkel equipment rental at the food truck lot. Uh, looks like a perfect day to snorkel in there. Oh, it's really calm and clear. A few weeks ago, I almost ran into a sea turtle down there. and didn't even see it until it was face to face. See where the Waimea River comes out at the uh, bay here when it gets full enough. If you turn off the road down here and go just up the river, there's a really pretty botanical gardens in this little canyon over here. There's a waterfall here called Waimea Falls. You can swim at the base of the waterfall as part of your entry to the gardens. all the uh, solar panels and wind turbines here in front of us as well as other 